Hey Flight people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Yemi and I make DIY videos. Today I'll be showing you how I made this delicious banana bread. It's really easy and simple. Um, let's get started with the video. So in the description box you can check for the list of my ingredients and the portion sizes. I'm going to be using two ripe bananas, very ripe bananas. I'll also be using some cinnamon powder, some bake baking powder some all-purpose flour along with sugar along with baking soda two eggs and in this bowl I have a mixture of melted butter and vegetable oil so I would show you how much I use when I eventually do that so now I'm just going to start by mashing the bananas like I said I used to I'll say these are like medium sized bananas but I used to anyways I'm just going to mash them if you don't have this you can use a fork to mash just make sure that you do it properly and when you're done you, you kind of say I have like little chunks in there but then it'll feel like it's liquid bear in mind that there is no water or milk added to this recipe at all I'm adding half cup of sugar I'm also going to add my eggs now for the eggs I'll be using the egg white alone so I have to take the yolk out I have to separate it at this point I can't remember one YouTube video I saw at some point where a lady was trying to separate the yolk from the egg white and then she ended up putting the entire thing inside but then she acted like nobody saw her or something she just continued <laughs> So now I'm just taking out the yolk this way. So be careful when you crack your eggs. That way you can easily separate the yolk from the egg white. I'm using two. Some people would rather just use like one egg. So they'll be using both the yolk and the white. But I'll be using just the egg white. Because I don't think it's nice with the yolk. So carefully separate like I said earlier and you'll be good to go. Now next thing you're going to do is to stir everything together, mix everything, combine it properly at this stage. Mix it nicely. You're also going to go ahead and add the mixture of melted butter and oil. So I'm using one tablespoon as well as two teaspoons together for this recipe so if you want to make like bigger size or whatever you could just you know double the recipe or you know do it do it in two different pans for me I had to bake two batches because I just feel the size of my pan was just okay and because of the way I want to slice the, the banana bread as well so I left it at this portion size and I baked twice now I'm adding my flour just one cup of flour I know you're thinking half cup of sugar, one cup of flour, that's like insane. <laughs> it's not actually going to be that sweet. I mean, by the time you add chocolate chip, it might be too sweet, but it's your choice anyways. I'm adding half teaspoon of baking soda. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of baking powder. Both of them are important. Okay, don't leave one out. I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of salt. I don't know if this is really serious and an 8 teaspoon of cinnamon powder you can put as much as you want I pretty much just um, eyeballed that one to, to be honest so right now I'm mixing everything together combining with a wooden spoon or spatula or whatever that's called you don't have to mix it too much to be honest probably mixing for like a minute or two is just fine don't do more than that because it kind of like i think it kind of affects the consistency of the loaf and it might not get done properly if you mix too much so just combine it nicely and when you're done you can go ahead and add the chocolate chip that i did i mean you don't have to and i think you can add raisins as well I wanted to add raisins but I was not too sure of how it was going to turn out and I felt like it might turn out too sweet so I put like the chocolate chips instead 
so put as much or as little as you want this really depends on you and this is obviously optional like i said earlier at this point preheat your oven to 350 degrees and also go ahead and grease your pan i added a few more and to be honest when i even put it in the pan i still added a few more chocolate chips <laughs> So now pour the mix in your pan. I like to use this white pan because I feel like this is the only pan that I can say I've actually gotten this recipe right with. You see that metal pan that's like big and the metal bread pans, I don't like them. I feel like the heat doesn't really get inside so the bread might not get done and then you bring it out you think it's done and then you find dough inside so I like this pan. So if you can get this pan, please get it, okay? I'm just going to throw this in the oven. <laughs> Not throw, but actually put it in the oven when it's done preheating. Like I said, we're baking at 350 degrees and we're baking for 30, 25 to 30 minutes. If you check around 25 minutes and you put your toothpick in and it's almost done or done, you can just leave it for like 5 more minutes. But if you think it's done, take it out. But don't go more than 30 minutes by 30 minutes you should actually be done if you're using a white pan like mine i do not know what's going to happen if you use the regular metal bread pan i think it should work out fine but i really didn't have no faith for that so so here is my loaf after 30 minutes of baking it looks good i'm sorry i did not show you the part where i put the two big but you can see the holes inside you can see i've poked it several times i kind of divided this into like six pieces and before i knew it was like almost done so this recipe is really easy and simple as you can see it's moist it's soft looks nice and it's done so you can go ahead and try this out and let me know in the comment section what you think about it okay if you have any questions you can go ahead and ask me and i will definitely respond to your questions so to store these i just since i cut them up in slices i wrap them in the plastic wrap and i just put it in a container that i can close and put it in the fridge it should last for up to like five days thereabouts but this lasted two days because well they were delicious they were nice so we ate them all thank you so much for watching my channel today i hope to see you guys in my next video till then stay blessed bye